All right, so this story now, the approving of the General Intelligence Laws Amendment Bill by the National Assembly marks a significant step towards redefining the regulatory framework governing our intelligence services. Intended to overhaul the operations of our spies and intelligence agencies, this bill comes at a crucial point, particularly given the historical entanglement of intelligence services and domestic politics since at least 2005. Now, to discuss this matter, we'll be joined by former State Security Agency's Domestic Intelligence and Head Ambassador for South Sudan as well. That's Mahlodi Semua. He'll be joining us in just a bit as soon as we can establish that line. But most certainly a very important conversation, given what we heard from the high-level panel that was chaired by Sidney Mufumadi. So quite a lot of issues pertaining to the intelligence. And the most important thing is that they want to actually unbundle the two so that we have domestic we also have intelligence i believe we do have mr mahlodi on the line mr mahlodi good evening and thank you very much for joining us the challenges within the intelligence agency are well documented in the high level of rather high level review panel report which was chaired by sydney mufumadi now the intelligence bill to address all of these challenges is now a step closer to becoming law your views on this yes <laughs> He said, but Doctor, but that uh, our press uh, is, uh, as a whole, and this is the implementation of that report. Hello. Unfortunately, we will have to re-establish that line with Mr. Mawufe. More news on the other side of this break. Do stay with us. Welcome back. The approving of the General Intelligence Laws Amendment Bill by the National Assembly marks a significant step towards redefining the regulatory framework governing our intelligence services. Intended to overhaul the operations of our spies and intelligence agencies, this bill comes at a crucial time, particularly given the history ent entanglement of intelligence services in domestic politics since at least 2005. To discuss this matter further is former State Security Agency Domestic Intelligence Head and Ambassador to South Sudan, Mr. Mahlodi Semmoefe. Mr. Mahlodi, good evening. Uh, firstly, your take on just the approval of this bill. I think it is a step in the right direction. Uh, since the release of uh, Dr. Mufumadi's report, um, even when I was there, we started working on the de-establishment of uh, the state security agency into 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 two. Um, so this is uh, one great step in the right direction, and uh, the de-establishment of the agency back to what it was before will enable it to focus very, uh, properly. Mm -hmm. Perhaps for the benefit of those who might st still not appreciate the significance of this particular move, just remind us of some of the issues with the SSA before and what we even heard in the State Capture Commission about it possibly being used for factional purposes and serving the agendas of others. Well, uh, uh, at the time when when it was it was used uh, allegedly used for fictional uh, battles i was not at the state security agency when i got there uh, i focused on ensuring that if indeed it was used uh, that stopped uh, when i got there uh, the agency uh, moved away from uh, being used uh, by other forces other than what it was supposed for. Mm -hmm. Now there's been criticism mm. of the bill, pardon me for interjecting there. There's been criticism of the bill. I remember the Inspector General of Intelligence, Mr. Imtiaz Faisal, saying that the bill would in effect seek to limit or fail to address the independence of the office of the Inspector General, while others say the opposite, that it would actually give it greater autonomy. Where do you stand on this? Well, the issue of independence is, is relatively relative in the sense that it is independence from who and what uh, there has to be accountability uh, at one point or the other uh, you can't stand on your own you've got to account to someone else anyway the reality is that uh, if 
if the act says you should do A, B, C, D, uh, whether it's the IG's office or as the state security agency, that's what you must do. Mm -hmm. But what he was yes. essentially saying that it would possibly be subservient of another body. You're saying this is not the case or would not be the case? I don't think that is going to be the case. I mean, uh, I honestly don't think that is going to be the case. I, I, I think people should read, read it holistically and understand it uh, uh, and interpret it holistically. I don't think that should be the case, you know. The inspector general is supposed to be an inspector general. So the inspector general cannot be subsidiary to mm -hmm. uh, any, any... Remember, the inspector general serves the intelligence community, not only the state security agency, you know? Mm. So That's is it not it worrying is. coming from the general himself? Is it not worrying coming from who? I'm saying if we now have such a situation where there are such statements coming from Mr. Faisal, is it not somewhat worrying because you're talking about everybody must read it in its entirety and interpret it accordingly? So this level of confusion, is it not worrying at all where some believe it would be subservient? Well, from where I am, um, I, 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 I am least worried uh, and I'm sure... Uh, Arthur would have his own reasons why he's saying so. Uh, probably, it's, yeah, it's a question of interpretation, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, the purpose of doing it is to ensure that uh, the agency works well. Mm -hmm. More the than bill... anything, else. The, the, the intelligence services work well. Uh, so up until such time that perhaps uh, it is put to test and uh, results show that uh, the agency, uh, you know, uh, uh, taking it back to what it was before with the view of ensuring that it serves uh, the people of South Africa accordingly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should uh, accept uh, that when that report was done and reasons were given why it should go back to, uh, you know, its original form uh, and with the purpose of uh, making sure that, uh, uh, that to the services work to serve the people of South Africa uh, fully. Mm -hmm, which is certainly the most important. Now, Mr. Moafe, the bill also provides for the re-establishment of the SA National Academy of Intelligence. Will this intelligence training of sorts assist significantly in ensuring that it goes back to what it was and serves the people, as you say? Uh, yes, uh, you recall that, uh, uh, you know, the intelligence that's a it has, 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 has that academy anyway, which is situated in Masikeng. More than anything else, perhaps, it is intended to strengthen it. And I think, uh, I think that is very crucial because that school, true, uh, it, it, it has to be strengthened in my view. All right. Mr. Mafoud, thank you very much for joining us this evening. That was former State Security Agency Domestic Intelligence Head as well as Ambassador to South Sudan, Mahlodi Sam Moafe.